Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from MidraAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Midra Automation. And today in this third video for getting started with shell scripting in the next operating system, we are going to talk about the basic text operation that we can do in the Linux operating system. So as you remember in our last video, we worked with some of the file operation by creating a directory, creating a file, also deleting the directory, moving the file from one place to another. Also, we saw a bit about the cat grep, but in this video, we are going to talk about some of them in more detail. So first of all, as you can see over here, we have this particular uh, scripts directory. So I'm just going to get out of this particular directory and I'm going to create one more directory, or maybe I just don't want to create it. Rather, I'm actually going to create a text file where I wanted to actually see all the content so that I can play around from there. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to use what is called as a wget. Wget is very, very famous to get the web content from the URL that you specify, and then you can output to whatever uh, location in whatever format that you wanted to. The way that you can do it is using the hyphen O command, and then you can specify the file location. For example, I'm going to say Linux data dot txt over here. And the location that I'm going to copy is from this particular URL that I have got. So I'm going to paste this guy over here and I'm going to hit the enter. So once I do that, you will see that it is going to download the content for me and then it is going to scrap the data and then it's going to paste it for me over here in the Linux data dot txt. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to type this cat command to actually navigate to this Linux data.txt and if I hit enter you will notice that it is going to get the whole uh, page content for me over here. You see that it is so big right like at the moment there are so much of data which is actually sitting there but if I really wanted to uh, just see like actually to read this particular content in this particular terminal instead of just getting the whole operation that you are seeing over here I can actually do cat uh, Linux data over here and then I can just pipe it to just say give me uh, just the top 10 lines something like that so I can just do something called as head so this is gonna give me the top 10 lines from that particular uh, from that particular uh, file that you have got you can see that it's just gonna get me the top 10 lines uh, over here so that because the top 10 lines are also very very bigger it actually in fills that whole terminal for me over here right so i'm just going to clear that and the way and the next way that you can actually do the same command is just type the head and then type the uh, linux data.txt you see that this is going to be the same output as well you don't really have to pipe it with a cat and then do it just the head over there and there is also another command called as tail this is going to give you the bottom 10 lines of the particular file so you can just do tail of linux data.txt and you see that this is the last uh, HTML ending line of the particular file. So it's going to bring up all the last 10 lines. You can actually specify the number of line as well if you wanted to. For example, you want to just print uh, two lines from uh, the uh, from the particular uh, file. Then you can just say hyphen n of two Linux or txt. You see that it's just going to print just the two lines, the HTML and uh, the body. I think I'm to clear this a bit. And if I hit enter, you see that there is a uh, HTML tag and there is a body tag. This is the last two lines that is printing. So if you want to print uh, maybe five lines and that becomes more bigger, right? So that's how it is going to be done. Same for a head as well. There is also another command called as uh, more command and less command. So what does that do basically? So if you wanted to do a more of the uh, Linux data dot txt you see that it is going to help you read the data pretty much like how you do from a notepad where you just scroll using a scroll bar you can see that this is the starting of this particular uh, particular file and there is the more of uh, zero percentage and then if you just hit you can keep reading it and also the percentage will keep increasing based on the actual size of the particular file so you can see that it has increased to two percentage three percentage so based on the how much you keep going into the particular file the percentage is going to keep increasing that is about the more that you can do you can also do a queue to quit or exit out of this particular reading that you are doing it from the particular file so this is another way of actually 
reading uh, the files using more operation. And now you may ask like, what if I wanted to do some sort of word count, uh, which is available in this particular file. So for example, if I just do a WC, this is for the word count, and then I can just type the Linux data or TXT, it is gonna tell me there are totally 1,983 lines and uh, total number of words, and this is the total number of characters sitting in this particular Linux data.txt. And if I wanted to do a search of all the Linux data into the particular file, I can do that as well. For example, I can just do a grep. So this is one of the most, another most important command that we may end up using quite a lot because this grep command is something which is gonna help us to actually uh, uh, get up or do a perform a search operation itself. There are other uh, commands as well, something uh, which we'll probably talk later point of time. But right now the grep is the most basic uh, command tool that we can use in our shell scripting as well. So if I can just uh, do something like grep of, uh, for example, uh, Linux, something like this, from the Linux data.txt, you can see that it's gonna highlight me all the Linux which is sitting in this particular file. And you can actually do a pipe there. So this pipe is basically that you are gonna output that particular output of this particular grep command to another command. And this time I'm gonna output this to a word count and I'm gonna hit enter. So you see that now the word count has decreased from all the way from I guess 1,900 and something to uh, just 77. So that way it tells me that it is actually uh, doing a search there, right? So if I do a word count as it was 1,983 uh, with just the whole Linux data.txt, but what I do with the grep of Linux and then with the word count, the count is actually 77. So that's how you can actually see the uh, the grep is actually gonna search the data for you. You can also do a lot more operation. For example, you can just type C and hit enter. So this is going to be uh, like, uh, you can probably remove the word count there. You can see that it is gonna get you exactly the count like 77 uh, as the count you can you can even get the count here and probably i think it's the n yeah it's gonna get you the whole detail about the particular like number of times that particular uh, uh linux is being repeated uh and you can you can also see the manual from the grep to see all the details from the grep which is how you can use the grep uh which is very very interesting and this exactly the same thing which we actually saw in our earlier video while we were trying to do something like cat of tilde slash uh, etc slash uh, password. I think it's not tilde slash etc slash password. Uh, and then I did a grep of searching for the parallels user. So I can just do something like this. And I can also use the wildcard. There are so many wildcard operations that you can do. And once I hit enter, you can see that it is gonna give me the detail about that particular uh, user which is coming up. So this is how we can actually use the grep command to work with the uh, with the actual file in the Linux operating system. And there are even more operations, something like sort operation you can do as well. So you can just do a sort of the uh, file, which is nothing but the uh, Linux data.txt, it is going to sort based upon uh, the order that you are specifying. Again, this sort is ascending order, descending order. I mean, in this particular file, it doesn't really make any sense, but if you have a CSV file and if you want to do a sort based upon the uh, the number of lines or based upon the the, the age or probably uh, the the name, something like that, it is going to ascend, in, uh, it's going to sort based upon the ascending order and also descending order. So these are some of the basic text operations that we do in our shell scripting in the Linux operating system. And in our next video, we'll talk about some of the process operation that we can do in Linux operating system using the shell scripting. And also in our further upcoming videos, we'll talk about some of the details of how we can enhance these commands that we have discussed even further in many different scenarios that we real time use it in our Linux operating system. Thank you.